Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Yeah, that means it's Thursday. Um, today's Help Desk is about purchasing gifts of an, an electronic nature for the Christmas season, or Christmas Day in specific. Uh, there are a lot of tablets on the market. There are Apple-type tablets, meaning the iPad or the iPad Mini. Uh, there are the... Windows tablets, there are various Windows tablets. There's the Surface, there's the Surface Pro, there's the Surface 2, there's the Surface Pro 2. There are some tablets from Nokia, the 2550 is a new tablet. There's some Asus, Acer, a myriad of tablets for Windows. And there's also Android tablets, the Google Nexus 7, um, the uh, Samsung tablets, the Samsung Tab 7, the Samsung Tab 3, the Samsung uh, mega um, there's also tablets that you can get perhaps in your drugstore for like 39 49 dollars uh, that's what i'm going to be railing against today do not get a tablet for 49 dollars or 39 dollars or 59 dollars uh, the cheapest tablet in the android market that i know of that's of any good at all um, is the google nexus 7 uh, it goes for like $229 for the 16 gig version. That's an excellent price for an excellent tablet. It has a wonderful screen and everything, but these bargain basement Android tablets are exactly that, bargain basement. They have Android on them. We don't know which version necessarily. Let's assume they're fairly modern and they're using a four dot something version of Android, probably Jelly Bean, which is the Google code word for one of their operating systems. It's the second newest. The newest one is KitKat. That is Android 4.4. So anything 4. Dot anything lower than 4 would be Jelly Bean, which is a good operating system. Uh, but you find that these bargain basement tablets, first of all, are not expandable, so you can't expand their memory. They usually come with very little memory, maybe one or two gig, which means you have a hard time trying to download a number of apps you don't know if they're going to be uh, in the Google Play Store, which means if they don't have access to the Google Play Store, you're going to have access to very few applications. So do your research. Don't get a $39 tablet or a $49 tablet or a $59 tablet. Good tablets cost in the hundreds of dollars. So you may want to save up for it. You may want to give them maybe a gift card towards it if you can't afford that. But uh, please don't get them an inferior tablet. They will not enjoy it. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV Help Desk. See you later.